Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and today's video I am going to share with you critical paths method to run project schedule in accurate way. I am going to share with you the best and optimized practices to sort out solutions to set your project critical paths method. So here I am, I have in progress project in front of you. You can see this project, one side there is activity table and the other side you have uh, progressed activities, there are critical activities, there are non-critical activities and what I am going to tell you now. The first thing you can add few more columns to optimize your layout to have view of your project critical path method, important factors like early start, early finish, late start, late finish. So how can we do that? So here is column option. So I will just click on this button, a new window and here we have um, you can see dates oriented things. So we have early start. I will just move it to the right side and uh, then we have early finish. Okay. And uh, this is actually very simple thing I'm going to tell you, but later uh, I'm going to progress each and everything to make you understand how you can enhance your critical uh, analytical approach to observe your critical paths. Okay. So where is late start and late finish? Let me check. So here we have late start, late finish. So like this way, I will just arrange, okay, apply, okay. So that is how you are going to understand that CPM, the important factors, how float will be calculated. So these things will be uh, displayed in your uh, front desk dashboard on Primavera P6 and that's how you are going to uh, see uh, your different dates for a certain activity, okay. And the second most important thing, application of uh, filter. Here you have uh, critical activity like this. You can apply and you can get your only critical activities on critical paths. Okay, so that's how you are going to make an anal analysis of your C uncheck and that is the second method. The most important thing which will give you the overall view, the bird eye view of CPM is to use this feature. Here I'm going to click activity network, okay? And you can see that how beautiful, how analytical it is. This is activity network diagram. It's giving you each and everything, how work packages are linked with each other and only red color line is actually displaying your critical path method. All network diagrams, all boxes which are connected with red color line are critical and how it is actually widely spread across your project timeline with interlinked kind of things, but it's very, very easy to understand. Okay, so you can see this is actually your project, uh, overall project view. Okay, so I will just make click on this one and it is going to give me uh, under the building work packages under the building and there are critical activities. So under structure, I can go like that. There are critical activities like this one and these are non-critical activities. I got it, but there is one more thing I can go for. Let's say I will go into the more detailed lowest level of our WBS like this way. I can change this information as well. It's very important. Just right click and I will be given here activity network options. And here I will have box template. I can change many things, activity network layout, I can make different colors, activity box template and see there I can add many more things like uh, early start, early finish, late start, late finish, duration, float to make our manual calculated CPM. You got my point? I will make you understand like this way. You can see I will early start and I will go like this way on one of then again add early finish. So my this certain work package will show me everything which I need to understand late start L and there is late start late finish. Actually you can add anything. I'm just trying to focus on CPM. So that's why I'm adding the things. So okay. Apply. Okay. And now you can see that Okay, see, against each and everything, you will have the things that you will be given, you know, early start, early finish, late start, late finish. That's how you are going to compile your activity network diagram. But this view, I love it. Okay, see how can you have a very quick overview. 
and uh, the next thing is the float the most important thing which is uh, uh, integral part of cpm is to optimize your observation by having float on your dashboard so what i'm going to do i'm going to exclude all this layout but uh, let me check here dates there is total float let me add find over here total float okay there are important things i am going to share with you from the point of view of job interview so there is float and uh, i will exclude few columns to have uh, not uh, you know saturated dashboard like this way i will exclude these options okay now i have simple dashboard but i have total float option over here so a total float is here and I can see there are red color activities. The most important thing which I'm going to address that in progress project because these are the uh, actual activities which are actually progressed and these are not yet started non-critical activity, critical activity but not yet started. So the most important thing which will uh, be asked in job interviews that your float is uh, your uh, CPM is dynamic property of your project uh, or it is uh, static so as long as it concerns with your planning phase it is a static property cpm it is locked one it's not going to change after planning when you are going to progress on site your works are proceed towards execution changes are being happened there so then cpm also get changed along with your project execution and all that so that would call it dynamic during your execution cpm would be dynamic so here uh, you can see uh, the other important question will be asked that what is the criteria to evaluate your project schedule quality the most important thing your project float should be not greater than 20 percent of your project total duration the total duration is 1039 but now i can see that uh, there are this is total float but uh, this 33 uh, 338 days this is maximum I can see right now so it should not like 412 is more than that so it should not exceed than 20% of this one okay so you can see uh, that 20% of this one is how much maybe 200 something but these are more than that so how to reduce your float uh, maybe it's mm, because of your illogical relationships because of open-ended activities there can be multiple things so what I'm going to tell you people right now that uh, you have to go into schedule and uh, go into the options and uh, here you can just change your one thing your calendar you can see sometime it can happen I can apply 24 hour calendar and uh, close yes and schedule and you can see you can observe before there was one one zero days of float okay so now it's going to enhance 137 so this is one of thing that you can change your calendar maybe uh, mistakenly you are not following the same calendar and the second most important thing I am going to suggest what you need to do see it has changed your uh, it, everything is vanished red color critical activities are vanished why because it's not uh, the right thing to have that calendar over here see so again I'm, I'm just suggesting you different kind of techniques you have to apply predecessor activity calendar okay and there is a float it's same thing start float finish float you know what is the uh, formula to calculate float it is late start minus early start or, or it is late finish minus early finish in both cases it is same unless until uh, there is a client requirement that you have to incorporate some values by manual ways then yes there is some constraint there is some other way to calculate your float yes then it can happen that it is going to impact on your project so let's see i'm going to schedule it again and you can see there is 110 and there is we are back with our original baseline cpm and all that so that's how you can change few things and you can have uh, something like um, you know CPM analysis uh, the most important thing your CPM float value should not exceed than 20% of your project original duration and the second most important thing static or dynamic which I have explained earlier and there are few techniques which I mentioned that you should know and if you want to dig more into the details with industry practice like CPM uh, many more things 
which you should know being a planning engineer and you want to know then you can join my upcoming live webinar or you can join my paid session for having industry based practice of Primavera P6 with EPC planning, shutdown planning and control, EOT delay claims. So you should join my this industry based session which has changed a thousand of people's job career. Don't forget to write in the comment area so that I can have your comments, I can have your support.